is going forward um the in the future Amazon may not be the main place that you put your lead magnet as, as we get into the blockchain and we get into NFTs and we get into virtual reality and whatever other technologies come out there, what we might find is that there's a new place where market share is to be found and had and there's a new fishing hole, so to speak. And when that happens, you want to be you want to have stuff like this that you can easily transfer over to the new thing so that you can start driving traffic from there and, and getting uh, contacts from there. And then also over time, let's say, you know, let's say you're like me and you're, you're in, you're in your forties. Okay. I just turned 40 this year. <clears throat> well, last year I'm about to turn 41, but, uh, if you just, if you're in your forties or your thirties, you still have decades of writing ahead of you as long as you continue to do this. So in 10, 20, 30 years, how many books are you going to have in your backlist? If you continue this strategy, which will work no matter, no matter uh, what technology does, this strategy will work because all you, it's the same thing as the cookie in the grocery store that's worked for decades. Why? People love things that are free. People love to see value. Okay? So as long as you can add that, you'll be able to capitalize on this for decades and decades to come. And then um, over time you'll see your sales start to increase from your other backlist. Like, let's say I finish this <coughs> Realm War series in the next decade or two, because I do have several books planned for it. Then whatever series I come out with after that, let's say there's 20 books in the Realm War series, then that new series is going to drive traffic to all the books that are in this backlist and then vice versa all the people who read realm wars who liked it and like my writing style well not all of them but a good majority of them will likely follow me to another book series as long as it's in the same genre or close to so for example the reason why this this book mini series this mini series on reader magnets is is labeled science fiction and fantasy is because I believe that most of your science fiction readers will transfer over to your fantasy stuff and vice versa. Not all of them. That's not what I'm saying, but most of them, because those two groups read quite a bit in the, in the, uh, like of each other. Um, and like I said, I even found that people who have, uh, read this book end up buying these books and steampunk is, is still part of the science fiction genre, but it's it's way wildly different from space opera action adventure. And so, and yet I still find readers buying those too. So my point is that um, y your backlist will start complementing each other. And there are actually, um, in 20 books to 50K, I can't remember who it was, but in I, I sent you guys the resources in another video, but there's a, there was a really good presentation on how to get box sets and and backlists to each point at each other. So they're all evergreen. So that if somebody finishes this series, let's say this was the Realm War series, and then the next series is your epic fantasy, that points to that. And then if somebody finishes your epic fantasy, it points to your steampunk. And they keep pointing to each other so that someone is always stuck in this evergreen loop of <coughs> all the books that you've ever created. Anyways, uh, I think that about covers it. I think you have a good understanding now the difference between a lead magnet and a reader magnet when it comes to not just the business marketing world, but also when it comes to our specific uh, in 